Good evening. Uh, tonight we're going to give um, New School Extra Special Bitter um, from um, Old Schoolhouse Brewery. Okay, Old Schoolhouse, New School, Extra Special Bitter. Um, that's complicated. So this is out of um, Winthrop, Washington. Um, and oddly enough, on the bottle, on their website, on Rate Beer or Beer Advocate, I don't remember which one I looked at, looked at I could not find um, the alcohol content, which I think is weird. But it's 30 IBUs, um, and um, uh, and I, I suppose I could calculate it. Original gravity of uh, 14, um, which is weird. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't have that information available. Um, I looked at Beer Advocate. It had no thing. Mm -hmm. I don't see the... That's weird. I think that's weird that I can't find the... Um, oops. I can't find the... Um, uh, alcohol content. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, Bevmo. Now, okay. Bevmo will probably tell me. Um, uh, totally doesn't even tell me. Mm. Okay, that's really strange. Okay, so I'm going to drink this beer. Um, we have no idea uh, how much alcohol it has, um, which is a really weird thing. I don't, I don't think... Anyway, it seems to be getting um, good reviews, um, you know, so I guess that, that's really what matters is that it tastes good, right? Anyway, so fine. Um, this category has um, IBUs of 30 to 50, so it's right at the low end. Uh, and alcohol um, by volume of 4.6 to 6.2. Um, and it has a class uh, as a strong bitter, um, which is a, uh, which would suggest that it has more alcohol than the previous classes of best and ordinary, um, which is 3.8 to 4.6% alcohol by volume and 3.2 to 3.8. Um, so it has some um, amount of alcohol in it. Um, and we're excited to give it a try. So this is another beer that I picked from um, Tavor, which I'm really excited to try. Um, and I didn't, I didn't even look to see what the ratings were on the um, on Beer Advocate since I was looking there just a moment ago. But um, anyway, so smell. Mmm. I feel like it has a very malty uh, aroma to it. We should be getting um, some high hop aroma, and I wonder if we won't get that in just a moment. Um, so it should be malty, but it should also be pretty hoppy. Um, and as a, a, a British beer, we're expecting... Please, baby, that's very loud. Um, we're expecting... Um, English hops, my thought is, uh, and I'm not certain um, what it is made with, and that actually, I'm, that I might be able to tell you. So, um, English Morris Otter, uh, crystal, and a and some chocolate malt. Um, so we're expecting a nice complex malt body with a spicy floral hop snap in the finish, which I think is a really great um, just. Uh, description. So um, it's Golding's hops, um, and then English malts that include um, Golden Promise, Floor Matted Morris, Morris Otter, uh, Crystal Chocolate, and a touch of rolled oats. Um, so that explains why I'm getting a lot of um, malt out of this. Um, mm. Anyway, so appearance, it is this beautiful, oh, and you can't even see it from your perspective. Unfortunately, the light is not in your favor. It's this beautiful um, kind of like red, 
brown color, a mahogany, I think it's, it's, it's been described as, and um, it's beautifully colored. It uh, is a little bit hazy, um, and, um, I, and I need to look to see if that's appropriate for this style. I feel like um, it should have good to brilliant clarity, um, and it should, it should pour with a good head. So um, a nice amber or deep amber color is appropriate. Um, uh, and it says that it doesn't have to have, uh, it can have a, a lower carbonation um, uh, and result in a lower head. That would be appropriate. Um, so, okay, let's give this uh, a shot here. Mm. Yeah, this is good. Um, wow, there's all kinds of great stuff going on in this beer. Mmm. Definitely has a, has a high malt flavor, but it's this kind of earthy, um, earthy kind of bitterness at the end. It, earthy isn't even a good description of it. Um, it's like this um, nutty, um, nutty kind of um, biscuity flavor to it, which is definitely distinctly different than the malt flavors I would be expecting. Um, Malt-wise, um, oh, oh, hold on, I'm confusing myself. I was talking about, I think I was talking about malts, but thinking, talking about hops, but thinking about um, malts. Okay, so malt-wise, it's very intense malt. Um, and it's, um, Toasty and bready, um, biscuity even, it's, you know, um, kind of uh, light in that respect. Uh, and it has this great finish to it where the malt, or the, the hops come in, um, and it just kind of cleanses the palate. It's like fresh and um, kind of bright, uh, not floral so much and not citrus so much, but like a, a baby version of that. I'm used to kind of the, the intense um, hop flavors we get out of. Um, the Pacific Northwest beers, and this is just a clean, um, a clean finish, um, and it has this bitterness. I think is you would have to have definitely in order to be able to call a beer a a, a beer a bitter, um, and it has like this little bit of um, fruitiness to it, kind of this resiny finish to it, um, almost a floral kind of. Um, nose almost like as you're, uh, you know, on the, uh, in the back of your palate. Um, very, very, um, very drinkable. This is a really very good drinkable beer. I'm terribly interested in finding out, um, what its alcohol content is. Um, but it's weird that I've, uh, you know, that five websites didn't return that information. Um, as far as mouthfeel, it's a medium, um, medium full body, um, and decent carbonation. It's not super carbonated, um, but I think it's just perfect for the style because it, it puts some crispness to this kind of deep, um, uh, multi-body that we're getting and it really lends to the crispness of um, the hop bittering that happens at the end. Um, so great, great beer all the way around. Um, and only somewhat bitter, which I think is great. Um, okay, so comments for the style. Um, in England today, ESB is a Fuller's trademark and no one thinks of it as a generic class of beer. It is unique, but very, it is a unique but uh, very well known beer that has a strong malt, uh, complex malt, malt profile not found in other examples, often leading judges to overly penalize traditional English strong bitters. In America, ESB has been co opted to describe multi bitter reddish standard strength for the U.S. British type ale and, a po and is a po and is popular 
uh, and is a popular craft beer style. This may cause some judges to think of uh, U.S. brew pub ESBs as representative of the style. And I think it's really smart of them to have put that in there, because I feel like um, this is very close to um, an American uh, amber ale, a red ale. Um, and um, it probably has just a tinge bit more hop finish um, than um, an amber ale would have. And so I feel like they're really brother and sister. I mean, not even cousins. They're siblings. Um, they live in the same house. And, um, you know, so I, I can understand how that would be confusing. I think as a uh, an English beer style, um, we wouldn't expect the same kind of hot profile that we would um, in uh, for a beer, a beer done in an American style or with American ingredients. Um, but I think that they did a good job of of making it drinkable and interesting to the American beer um, palate um, and still stay pretty true to the style. I think, you know, it falls outside of the um, the standard in some areas, but is very drinkable, definitely a very good beer. Um, so history, um, strong bitters can be seen uh, as a high gravity version of best bitters, although not necessarily more premium. Um, since best bitters are traditionally the brewers, brewers um, finest product. Uh, and so we're really getting more alcohol out of this strong bitter than we are getting better quality. Um, British pale ales are generally considered a premium export strength um, pale bitter beer that roughly approximate, pr approximates a strong bitter or they're reformulated for bottling um, including increasing carbonation levels. Um, while modern British ale Excuse me. While modern British pale ale is considered a bottled beer, historically the styles were different. Um, so, really, the styles that are um, uh, outstanding commercial examples of this style include Bass Ale, Highland Orkney Blast, Samuel Smith's Old Brewery Pale Ale. Um, you know, things that are um, Young's Ramrod, things that are distinctly English. Um, and so, I think. Um, new, who is this? I think Old School House Breweries, New School ESB, um, is a very distinctly American take on ESB. And done very well. Um, you know, but like I said, I think it's, it's much akin to, um, what we'd expect from a, an American, uh, Amber Ale. But very drinkable. Um, if you happen to know what the alcohol content is, uh, for this beer, I would love for you to share that with me. So please, down below in the comments, um, share that with me. If it's something that you, um, enjoy, um, please, uh, share with others where you're able to find it. Um, I got it from Tavor in my, uh, last shipment, but it appears that it's also av available through BevMo, uh, even as a keg. So that's exciting, right? Um, so, um, great kegs of, or kegs of great beer, um, is definitely, um, you know, always welcome. So, um, anyway, there you go. Uh, and share with me your thoughts on it. I'd like to know if this is something that you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and, uh, have a good night.